Hello students, in this video we'll see how to solve problem 4.8.8. .8. Problem 4.8.8 .8 asks us to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix 3, negative 2, 0, negative 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, 5. To solve this problem, we find the eigenvalues by computing the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation is the determinant of 3 minus lambda, negative 2, 0, negative 2, 3 minus lambda, 0, 0, 0, and 5 minus lambda, i.e. what we've done here to find the characteristic equation is we set this equal to zero, is we subtract lambda from the main diagonal. And we recall that to compute the determinant, I can expand along any row or column. So I have to make my sign chart. And we see that the last row has a lot of zeros, so we'll expand along the last row. The minors that correspond to this positive zero and this negative zero will contribute nothing, so we will just have five minus lambda, with a plus sign, times the determinant of three minus lambda, negative two, negative two, and three minus lambda equals zero. So this will be a five minus lambda, and then this will be a quantity, 3 minus lambda squared, because I take the main diagonal, and that will get a plus, and the off diagonal will get a minus sign. And then I'll have a minus, 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 so that's a cumulative minus of 4 equals 0. And now this is the difference of two squares, so this is a 5 minus lambda, and then 3 minus lambda minus 2, 3 minus lambda plus 2 equals zero. And from this, we can see what the eigenvalues are. We have a lambda equals five, that comes from the first term over here. This expression is one minus lambda, so that will give me a lambda equals one from this expression. And over here, this will tell me that lambda, I have a five minus lambda, so lambda will be five. So this is a root of multiplicity two. So I have two eigenvalues. I have an eigenvalue of one, and I have an eigenvalue of five with multiplicity two, and that corresponds to a total number of three eigenvalues with five repeated twice. Now to find the eigenvectors, we find an element in the null space of the matrix I get when I plug in the eigenvalue. So in lambda, we'll take a look at the case when lambda is equal to one first. When lambda is equal to one, we will subtract off one from the diagonal and get a two, negative two, zero, negative two, two, zero, 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 and four. And I'd like to find <coughs> a vector, v1, v2, v3, in the null space of this matrix. That means that I get zero, zero, zero. And we can see that an elementary choice to make this happen, if I choose v1 to be 1, and v2 to be 1, and v3 to be 0, we see that that choice will make this matrix applied to v equal to 0. So this will be my eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals 1. When lambda is equal to 5, We'll subtract off 5 from the main diagonal. If I do so, I will have a 3 minus 5, which is negative 2, negative 2, 0, and then a negative 2, and then negative 2, 0, and finally a 0, 0, 0. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to find an element in the null space of this. So v1, v2, v3 will be my eigenvector. That gives me 0, 0, 0. And over here, we notice that this last row contains all zeros. Which means, and this, and this last column also contains all zeros, 
which means no matter what v3 is, it will always be canceled out. So one choice of an eigenvector for this matrix will be 0, 0, 1, as no matter what v3 is, it will always be zeroed out by this, la by this last column over here. I can also choose, call this v1 and v2, the vector 1, negative 1, and 0. And these two vectors, v1 and v2, are independent of each other. And if I choose 1, negative 1, 0, I see that that choice of v1, v2, and v3 will give me 0, 0, 0 as well. So I have found two eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equals 5. And one eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals 1. I have a total of three eigenvectors and three eigenvalues, and we've solved the problem. Thank you very much.